Okay, it's been a few weeks, but we've got another nice Model 50 timing mechanism for sale here today for a Duncan Miller. Dust shields already off it. Nice shape. Fits great. Let's take a look at this one. So, the wear on the front. You know, not much on this handle. This one's actually really nice. Coin plate, just a little bit of chipping from coins there. Nothing too bad. Um, as you can see, the flags work properly here. And I mentioned this in the listing, but let's take a look at this. You can see that little tab there. This has the slug holder or the, uh, the uh, slug catcher or coin catcher. We'll show how that works in a minute. But as mentioned, uh, flags are doing their thing just fine there. And the condition of the front here seems to be in really nice shape. So let's take a look at these flags. This expired uh, obviously has faded and uh, got some scratching on it. Violation has some fading there, but not as much. And if we look at that... Ooh, tip you up here on the other side. Expired is pretty faded there in violation. Has a little bit. So this one obviously sat maybe with the sun on this side, sort of towards the south. It's not as bad there. You might want to redo that, but that's uh, your choice. And if you really want a, a really nice cherry expired flag, check my other auctions. I've got one on right now, and I've got at least two more in my parts back stock. Maybe three. I can't remember exactly what I have in there. The indicator dial is in great shape here. Let's take a nice close look at this. You can see the graphic is really nice. The light isn't showing it off quite right, but there you can kind of see there is a little bit of a scraping and scratching there. It's really light, you know. If you turn it like that, you don't see it at all. Um, I mentioned that some of this looks maybe like it's faded a little bit up here in the U.S. patent part. Um, that might have just been from printing as well. Let's turn it around and take a look at the dial as well. Um, this side, really no yellowing at all. Um, maybe a little bit darker. There were the actual pips for, uh, for each of the minutes are, but it's in great shape. Um, little teeny ding right there, not much. And I guess there is a little yellowing on the side there, but that's hard to notice. Um, and then the, the nicest thing about this one, just, just about as straight as an arrow as you can ever get on these. Um, and you can see in there that the flags are moving real nice next to it. Um, as mentioned as well, uh, indicator arrow is in great shape. Um, what else to show on this one before we go to the clock? Coin transport is really clean on this. I didn't take this apart. That's how it came. Um, none of the junk and gunk and dirt and grime that I've seen on a lot of the other ones I've been working on. It's just really in great shape. So let's turn around and take a look at the clock. Like I mentioned, I think this is the best clock. Let me zoom my camera out there a little bit. I think this is the best clock mechanism that I've worked on. You got a really nice hairspring in there. Um, the lever and uh, the main wheel through the fourth wheel, all just in great shape. Uh, not really all that much gunk. Before we get this thing started here, the one other thing I mentioned in uh, the listing, uh, look at that left side there. She's just a little bit bowed out. Now, this is a good angle here. You can see it's not far enough to touch the fourth wheel. Um, that was closer. I took the entire clock mechanism off and that gave me just enough room here and right there uh, to get a little wood clamp in there and very gently pull it back. I left the, uh, the flags on when I did it and made sure that they were the pins were in the, the, the holes that they need to be in when I did that to make sure that I wasn't over tightening it so that I would have a problem there. And uh, thankfully, you can see now that, uh, I don't know how I'm going to show this off, but there we go. Um, the expired flag does move back and forth, but it doesn't fall out of the dropout or anything. So it has some play there. Um, if you wanted to, you could take it all apart and try to pinch that down a little further. It was sitting properly. I didn't want to mess with anything else. We're already at five minutes. Let's give this thing a run through. So we will uh, do penny, then nickel, then dime to show you that everything's contacting well. 
There's 12 minutes. This will put us to an hour 12. Oh yeah, what you just heard was the penny falling out. I almost forgot to show that off. So yeah, your nickel, there we go. I had to shake it to get it down in there, but it is resting right on that little brass tab there because the coin catcher, as I mentioned, works great on this. This is the only one I've had where it is complete and functional and I didn't have to mess with it. So there we go. And hey, look at that. The dime's there and I'm not gonna get arrested for fraud. So there you go, ticking, working, balance wheel balancing, hairspring springing, um, the lever there, the real nice smooth action on this one. It's not sluggish at all. I've got other ones that don't keep them nice, even rhythm because of some of the junk that's in there. Um, but uh, this one's about as nice as you see. Uh, got any questions? Let me know. Check the other auctions, lots of uh, new old stock parts and uh, stuff that I've been getting out of this estate that uh, unfortunately won't be doing any auctions for a while. So um, what I've got right now is what I've got. A few more things to go online and a few more of these timing mechanisms uh, probably in the future. But that's what we have and hope you bid. Thanks.